Happy Friday, everybody. So let's jump into tip two of selecting DPT programs that you want to apply to. Okay, and today's tip has to do with Mr. Rogers. Would you be my neighbor? So we're going to look at neighboring states around the state where you have in-state residency um, to look at other DPT programs that may be available to you. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight to a map just to prove a point right here, okay? So if Arizona is my home state, which for me in this case it is, right? You look around all the states around me, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, California. All of them have DPT programs, which is awesome. So, you know, I've gone through my process. I started in state. I went and I looked at every single uh, school in Arizona. And now I'm thinking, okay, let's see what else is out there. And then I go and I start by looking first at all of the public universities in the surrounding states. And then I look at all the private universities in the surrounding states. So it's kind of a lather, rinse, repeat. Same process that we used for in-state, but just looking at it for out-of-state as well, just to see what's available um, for you there. So what we would do, and I'll just go through one program right here, okay? So let's say for me alphabetically, the closest state is going to be California. So I'm going to come down. I see all of these California schools right here, okay? I'm going to go through them, and I'm, I'm going to vet each one of them, see which ones are state-run or public universities and which ones are private, and then I'm going to rank them in terms of cost of tuition, okay? And I'll add that to my list, and then that can help me, based on tuition costs alone, to help refine my list and say, okay, these are the schools I seriously want to look at. And I would do the same thing for Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, all those places around me, right? Something else that someone asked was, what if I live in a state like Wyoming that has no DPT programs? What am I supposed to do for my search? Okay. So you're going to do the same process. You're going to still use the Mr. Rogers method. You're going to look at all of your neighboring states and you're going to ask yourself, okay, what can I do? What are those programs, public and private? And how am I going to apply to those? Okay. And also another important thing to consider, there are several states that allow individuals, I've, as I've done my research, I know um, there's some states in Georgia, Tennessee, um, and surrounding states in the South that they will allow you, depending on the public university, to be able to still get in-state residency, even if you are not a resident from that state, but you're from a neighboring state, okay? Um, I know this is also the true for a lot of people in Wyoming and other places where they don't have the representation for um, higher education programs, so to help encourage individuals from those states to apply, they can still get in-state tuition at, at surrounding universities in, low, in states that are close to them. So this is something that you want to definitely consider and to take a look at, and this will help you beef up your list. And I think this is going to be, you know, this is going to help flesh out your list a little bit more. And we're going to bump up to that 10 to 15 schools that you're seriously considering taking a look at. That doesn't mean you're going to apply to 10 to 15 but it just gives you a running list of, okay, these are some programs that I am legitimately going to take a look at. I'm going to email them. I'm going to get some more information. And we'll talk about what things you want to cover um, once you've narrowed down and refined your list a little bit more. But this is the Would You Be My Neighbor tip number two, step number two of DPT program selection. Take care, guys.